Preserving pieces of our Virginia culture while moving forward from the past in Henrico County's largest land preservation investment to date. The Board of Supervisors voted, voted rather to purchase Verina Farms. And 8 News reporter Sierra Krug joins us now live with details on this. Sierra. Eric Diana, the almost 2100 acre space is often referred to as the birthplace of Henrico. It's rich in history and sitting along the iconic James River. Now it's just waiting for its next chapter. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? A unanimous vote by the Henrico County Board of Supervisors <laughs> officially turning the page to Verina Farms next chapter tucked near Dutch Gap and the Verina Enon Bridge. It's the county's largest land preservation investment to date, sitting just above $17 million. Purchased from the Stoneman family, the space maintains a prominent space in Virginia history. Without exaggeration, Verina Farms represents the birthplace of Henrico. It laid the foundation for our domestic tobacco industry and it's where English explorer and slave owner John Rolfe lived with Pocahontas. For as much as we know about Verina Farms, we also have much to learn in particular from the time before English contact and during the unfortunate and sad period of enslavement. Balancing conservation with growth. This is going to be property for the people of Henrico County. Will we be looking forward to a new museum? Have you planned uh, any archaeological studies because of the history of the property? Board members like Tyrone Nelson hinted at the idea of using the space for education, but they plan to take their time before making any major decisions. It's really about securing our future, a future that we hope reflects our values, our priorities, and our aspirations. Leaders say they see this as a more long-term project rather than a short-term rushed plan. They did suggest there will be chances for public comment, so keep an eye out for those opportunities. Levin Henrico, Sierra Krug, 8 News.